There's a new study that shows that nearly half of all cancers are coming from a handful of lifestyle factors. Can you guess what those are? Okay, first one's gonna be obvious. It's probably gonna be smoking. Correct, smoking has the most evidence for causing cancer, especially with tobacco. However, if you put anything into your lungs that's not air, it will cause problems. So if you're gonna try to justify smoking this versus that, you're already losing. But I look so cool vaping. You'll feel less cool when you can literally not feel your fingers from the chemotherapy that you're getting to help you with your future lung cancer. All right, fine, I guess the next factor would probably be alcohol. Actually, before alcohol, the second thing that leads to the most cancer is obesity. And you can actually put in poor dietary choices in that as well. Obesity is not as benign as you think. It leads to multiple problems, not just diabetes, high blood pressure, hormonal issues, but plenty of different cancers. Actually, now I do remember reading that people who had more muscle mass ended up surviving cancer better than people who had less muscle mass. All right, so the next one has to be alcohol. Is that right? Correct. Alcohol, no matter what people say, can still cause cancer. This one's a little bit more complicated and you can make the same arguments for tobacco. If I smoke a certain amount or if I drink a certain amount, let's say it's very, very minimal, will I have the same chance of getting cancer as someone who's drinking a lot or smoking a lot? The answer is, of course not. If you do more of the carcinogen activity, whether it's alcohol or smoking, you're more likely to get that cancer. So pretty much if I've never drank alcohol in my life, I shouldn't start now. Correct, if you've never had a sip of alcohol in your life, it's really never a good time to start. Don't start smoking, don't start eating poorly, start exercising, you're on the track.